Uh, yeah. Just what we gonna do today. Check this out. Stay Motivated Podcast. Season 2. Episode 13 featuring my homegirl Misha. Oh, we gonna teach you how to hustle. We gonna show you how to grind. How you gotta survive and figure it out. Hey, Misha. Let's go. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we go, y'all. Check this out. Stay Motivated Podcast, Season 2, Episode 13. It's your homie. It's your dog. It's your folk. Terry, a.k.a. Tobin Frost, a.k.a. Young Denzel Washington, a.k.a. Mr. Pop That Champagne for my pain. <laughs> Y'all, check this out. Man, I got a legendary superstar in the building tonight. <laughs> Miss Mish. Misha, what's up? Tell the people who you are, where to find you at on social media, and then we're going to get the rocking and rolling. <laughs> hey, y'all, what's up? My name is Tamisha. Um, my social media, it's hint to me, um, nothing special, nothing creative, just my last name and part of my first name. So it's H-I-N-T-T-A-M-E-S-H. And what else they need to know, Terry? Uh, whatever you want them to know. Um. Social. <laughs> Bank statements, oh, whatever you shit. got. I think we get a little personal there, but I mean, if anybody want to put anything in my bank account, I'm uh, open to that. Well, <laughs> that's a great segue <laughs> to the first topic. So, from what I know, you're a real estate investor. Yes. So, which I think is pretty cool that mm -hmm. you're doing that. Thank you. So, Tara. um. Just tell us a little about a little bit about when you started or how you got the idea or where did the where did the passion come from? Um I don't think it was really a passion of mine. Um I I started off with sorry. But I, I kind of had like a five-year plan when I was 25. And, you know, I wanted to be making six figures by the time I was 30. So I, you know, brainstormed some things that will help me get to that point um, the quickest. Um, I did. I started a cl an online clothing store um, last year. Um, and, you know, it was moving, but it wasn't moving fast enough for me. So... Real estate was my second option. It was something that I fell back on. So I went and got my real estate license. Um, I became a realtor um, for Keller Williams, still hey, a realtor. Shout out to Keller. Yeah. If y'all want to buy some houses or sell your house, I'm, I'm your girl. Mm -hmm. But anyways, so um, after I jo joined Keller Williams, um, I you know, got onto the investing side of things. Um, and, you know, I went and got some training on investing on, in properties and everything. Um, started my investing business in December 2018. Mm -hmm. Closed on my first investment property in January of 2019. And now we're, you know, working on rehabbing it. And, you know, think, well... Hopefully, we'll be flipping it by May, um, selling it by May. So May. That's where we are. So, I'm going to tell you what's dope is a lot of people, especially when they're 25, don't have a five-year plan. A lot of people, when they're 35, right. 45 don't have a five-year <laughs> plan. And, I, I mean, you learn about that, like, when you're in work, you know what I'm saying? You start, like, when I got involved in management at work and stuff like that. Like, you start running, okay, I need a one, three, five. Right. Not at age 25, though. <laughs> age 25, I was out of control. Right. And you know what? Actually, it wasn't even a five-year plan. It was like a two-year plan. Like, I got I to gotta get it popping before 27. You know what I mean? Right. So, I mean, five years is like the upper side of things, but really the lower side is two years. Like, I got to I gotta have some money. I got to have something months, in my pocket. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so I think yeah I think that's dope I think uh, 
everybody should have a a one three five. Oh yeah. At least a one three. Definitely. Five is I know five is kinda lengthy. Right. One three, yeah, you should have one. That's pretty dope. Oh yeah. You should teach a class. <laughs> a whole, I don't want to get off topic. Oh, so um how long you plan on doing this? So I this is long term, honestly. Like I'm like literally looking at real estate podcasts every day. I'm reading books. I'm you know, I'm training myself on things. I'm learning things daily about it. Um, and it's a really profitable industry. Right. And, yeah, it's something I'm trying to make, you know, money in for a lifetime, right. honestly. That's the way to go. Yeah. Flipping properties. Oh, yeah. So what? what's your least favorite thing about this investment <clears throat> game? Um. So I say... You know, with the process and, you know, how things have been going or how things started, it was kind of hard. It's kind of hard to find a deal in investing, especially in Charlotte, because mm. it's, you know, so congested with just people trying to find deals. It's so congested with investors trying to flip properties, which is really a reason why I went to Gastonia. Gas house. Which is up and coming. Gas house. <laughs> the property values aren't, you know, um, as high as Charlotte. Um, but, you know, they're up and coming. And I was able to find a really, really good deal there, um, and which allowed me to um, flip this property here. Um, but I would say that's the my least favorite thing. And also, it takes a while, you know, to Clothes and to mm. get your money. Um, I right? know it takes a long time to close. Oh yeah, I know that. <laughs> and I haven't even gotten to that step yet, but I'm like I'm broke right now. No, you're not. I'm broke. No, you're not. <laughs> Every- you're, ha- you're handling your responsibilities. Everybody That's what like, you're doing. girl, you rich. Everybody think I'm rich. Like, you are rich. No, I- listen. You think rich, you become rich. I think rich, but I'm not rich. I've made a lot of sacrifices, like. I I literally bought my first um, property in December. It was like my own personal home. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I spent all my savings putting a down payment on that and then turn around and close on this house, my investment property. Right. I'm broke as shit. But it's going to pay off. You're right. And that's what I'm looking at. I don't mind being broke at this point. I don't either. I'm okay with it. I've been it. broke for a long Shut time. Shut up. I'm you too, are not broke. I've been broke for a long time. <laughs> I don't got it. I ain't getting it. I don't have it. What? Just letting everybody know that Y'all, up front. Terry is going to be a millionaire. Nah, I ain't got nothing. He's about to be a millionaire. Believe that. So all his cousins, whoever listening, <laughs> y'all better hop on the train. Shout out to all my, shout out to my cousin Kent. It's his birthday today. Shout out to, what's his name? Kent. Kent. Happy Kent birthday, Kent. What up, cuzzo? What up, Cuzzo? Yeah. <laughs> so what's your well, I guess I can I can pretty much uh anticipate what's your most favorite thing about it. Money. That cash flow. That straight cash, homie. That cash flow. Like like I have not many careers are like this. Like I have the like there's a possibility of me making like Thirty plus thirty thousand dollars plus profit mm. off one deal. That's you know? what I'm talking about. When that, you get them thirty can, racks, don't that, forget about <laughs> the little people. Yeah, that can that can do a lot for you my bank account five. right now. Five dollars? No, five racks. Listen, yeah, yeah. you get thirty thousand. <laughs> Listen, Terry, you that's, just pay me five. That's a little much though. I get twenty five. Okay. You helping the poor people? Look. I give you a hundred dollars. A hundred. That's a lot. A hundred times fifty. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> so, like you were saying about um, how you kind of like chose investing over, well, not chose it over, but you went a, in a new path from your clothing line. So let's talk about how you about to revamp. Relaunch, <laughs> retool. You said you said, I, them, you said I got them them adjectives <laughs> to describe what's going on. Look, I feel you. Um, so I had a, or I mean, I guess I still have, in a sense, a online clothing store. Um, it's called Refashion. Refashion. 
Um, unfortunately, I had to refocus and, you know, I was talking about my five-year plan, so I had to refocus and go another route. So my focus was mainly on real estate. Um, but, you know, now that I got that in the bag, now I want to get back to my passion, which is fashion. Like, I love fashion. Anybody could tell you that. So when, where did that, like, when did that start? Did that start early? Um. Cause most most women that that's in the fashion and fancy now, when they were growing up, they used to be tomboys. Well, I am a tomboy. Oh, oh okay. I'm a huge tomboy, Child, like still. Oh, let that go. LV, you be having on Fendi. Don't try Prada. it. No. <laughs> <laughs> still wear Gucci at the we post a boycott. I do not, y'all. Don't listen hey. to him. I'm not that kind I've of. I've y'all 150 I'm not a thousand. Whore. That's not Dollars true. Dollars worth. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm a tomboy. I'm a tomboy at heart. Um, but where did fashion start for me? Probably in like high school. Mm-hmm. I started, you know, I started liking fashion. I I I had an eye for it. Not really like the money for it, but I always had an eye for it. So when I got the money for it, you know, it was kind of easy for me to get my style or you know kind of become creative with fashion yeah, you and, were like let's go yeah <laughs> and even now a little bit of money let's go yeah i'm broke now still Chill but out, I, I had a little money to we spare know and you know far from broke don't even far. i am not far from broke i'm far so broke it. right now so what's <laughs> like so i asked you like the same thing about um fashion about investing what's your least favorite thing about it the fashion business, it takes so long to just get your brand recognized. Get on the scene, huh? Yeah. And I'm kind of like, I'm not like a get rich quick kind of girl. Like, that's not my mindset, but I want to get rich quicker than yeah, that's making time. me rich. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of what made time. me refocus and like say, okay, what, what's about to put this money in my pocket right yeah, now? Yeah, and maybe I can get back to true. my passion later. True that. So, yeah, it's, that's, that's the most, I would say that's one of the things that I dislike mostly about it. And I think that's like, that's huge, especially like fashion music. It's, so, it's like so many, so many rappers, so many clothing right. designers. Mm-hmm. So many, so even many with me, what I'm doing, so many and, podcasters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of like, you got to find out, you got to find your lane and yeah. keep riding with it, even mm-hmm. though it's slow. Mm-hmm. And then like, like Fashion Over, they blew because of Cardi. They they blew before Cardi. You think so? Oh, yeah. I think they went crazy when, they, when Cardi well, hit the scene. They went, they, they they probably, went dumb. They probably jumped up some levels, but. So, I mean, really all it takes is. Oh, you know a lot of people that got buzz. You got buzz. Who? You. You're, you're famous on uh, social media. No, I... See, yeah. you give... Watch how... People. Look, watch how much uh, publicity I get my podcast when you post oh, this episode. Oh, my gosh. Watch. Y'all, yeah, you, And you know people. Him. I know people. You got, know you got home bit. girls. You got friends. I you got acquaintances. I know a little bit of people. Um... Old co-workers. Yeah. They got a little, a little clout. A little clout. Yeah. <laughs> Put one of your co-workers in a, a jumpsuit. No, but we're we going to do it right this time. Yeah. We're going to do it Put right. Somebody in a, Put one of your co-workers in an orange jumpsuit. No, I'm gonna put me <laughs> in a jumpsuit. An orange jumpsuit? I'm going to be my own model. An orange? Yeah. We nah, can... you don't want to get an orange jumpsuit. Listen, we can make no, that pop. Orange is black. We can make that pop. Oh, you can make a pop. Oh, yeah. We'll go to jail first. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go to jail first. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Take me to jail. I'm going to jail <laughs> fresh. You hear me? <laughs> Bleed. <laughs> I, I like that, though. <laughs> Fresh new jail outfits online. I'm just playing, y'all. <laughs> but look, that show y'all with her passion at. Like, hey, she can make a, a orange jumpsuit work. Listen, you hear me? You can make anything work. Well, how um, when you, what date you think about relaunching, or you just um, you're just gonna catch everybody by surprise and just hit the scene. <laughs> Bow. Uh, 
I probably try to start a little buzz before then. But um, so we're actually well. I told you, me and my aunt, we are going in together, and mm-hmm. we're starting our um, clothing boutique together. Um, but we're thinking somewhere around May. May launching around May, so we can you know make the summer a little hot, a little hotter, you know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I I would look out for it um, somewhere between May and June. June, my birthday. We're going to drop on your birthday then. June 20th. Oh, yeah. Let me write May that my down. My girl birthday. When is it? May. Your girl birthday yeah, in May? I ain't going to say what day. I don't know if she want people to know her business. <laughs> 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 I should say it, but I don't know if people want to know her business. So mm-hmm. I know how she get. Mm-hmm. Yeah, drop on my birthday. We're going to throw a party. June joint party. 20th. Yep. I got you. I gotta write that down in my calendar. Hey. <laughs> you you going how big you plan on getting? You gonna do men clothes too? Or you just gonna stick strictly women? I so we're gonna start small. I don't, like with any business, I don't think you should ever start big. True. I think you should definitely like get a feel for you know who your target market is and who's buying and who's liking and you know, you want to get a feel for all that before you start elevating and you know, advancing so, to the next that's level. So, that's smart, and that's good advice. Because even with my nonprofit organization, mm-hmm. once I got everything approved, mm-hmm. I was like, I'm about to hit the ground running. <laughs> I'm about to do this, this, right. this, 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 that, this, that, 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 this, this, then that. Right. <laughs> so I'm like all day long just all over the place. Yeah, and you know I mean, me texting my boy, man, like, hey man, what do you think about this? Let's go do this. By the way, I love it. I love what you're doing. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. I see you on Instagram. Don't make me I'm cry. like, oh my god, look at Terry <laughs> doing all these coat drives man, don't make and. Me cry. Yeah, that's that's great. I'm about to Honestly, cry. that's great. You want to see me cry? Yeah. Psych. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I appreciate it. We, we we still grinding. We got a book drive coming up April twentieth. Mallet Creek Wreck from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Dang, that was a good drop. Man, y'all need to get me on the Breakfast Club or Shut up. <laughs> get me on the really? news or something. I can do this. <laughs> For real, I can do this. But yeah, so we're gonna keep grinding. And then once y'all Definitely. once y'all launch, we're gonna probably link up and do some stuff for the community. Yeah. Hey. Look, I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> Yeah, so I just had to show my jersey off. Please. It's a long story, man. My boy went to Arizona. Who he left that? us after 16 years. Terrell sucks. I don't know who that is. Man, he the one of the best, one of the I know greatest from the ever. Raven. What is Raven? For for life, say your name again. <laughs> Ray <Lewis>. For life. <laughs> Airy T Sizzle. Airy, I know Airy. Yeah, that's my dog. He going to the Hall of Fame next. Every he not there already? He going this year, later this year. I know y'all, I know Brett Favre. Is it, was that y'all's quarterback? No, not Brett Favre. No, who was it? No, Joe Flacco. It's Flacco. I yeah. knew the last name started with the F, though. <laughs> yeah, Flacco <laughs> gone. That was, that was my dog, gone? man. Yeah, he in Denver now. Oh, dang. Poor Joe. So it was nice for 11 years, man. He got me a Super Bowl. Who y'all got? We now? got Lamar Jackson. I don't know him. Young gangster, young bull, ready for whatever. Want all the smoke. Smoke chicken, smoke wings, smoke grill, <laughs> whatever you think about. We want all the smoke. That's my dog. <laughs> See, look, you done got me up here talking about football now. <laughs> we done got away from the whole, all the subjects we've been talking you about. Right <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, um, I appreciate you coming. I think um, investing is cool. I know. Um, my dad told me a while ago I should get into commercial. Commercial real estate. Yeah, oh, I yeah. think that's like on a bigger scale. Yeah. But um, that and multi multi family. I don't know. I don't know about that. Like apartments and like duplexes. Oh, like stuff buying like, that. like yeah multiple mm-hmm. uh residents. Okay. Yeah. So my plan next year. So this year I'm just flipping. Right. My plan next year is to get some rental properties. So probably start with like a duplex. Mm-hmm. But eventually, 
I'm gonna buy an apartment I'm building. Buy everything. Look, everything. I'm buying all the east side. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> so before um before I let you go, quick question. Mm-hmm. From just from from my insight and intel, investing and flipping is quicker. You can get a, e- a house easier if you invest or if you buy ready to close then than going through like a like me buying a house and having to get an agent and then having to put an right. offer in. Um, honestly, it's the same thing because a lot of investors have real estate agents. Really? Yeah, but the agents work more on the investor side. So they're they're more so trying to find deals for investors most of the time. Is the, the, does but, the money come quicker or um, is there a more is there a bigger cut that the the real estate agent gets? No. The real estate agent what they do is they do their job. Me being a real estate agent, I don't have to pay someone to sell a house for me i can i'm gonna sell my house myself and i'm oh, gonna because you're the get investor keep, and the agent mm-hmm. Ooh. so i get to keep that cut hustle real hard you know, hustle, rather hustle. than me um rather than me you know having to hire a real estate agent to sell my house and i have to pay them six thousand dollars so you know i'm saving that much money i'm saving three percent of my sales price rather than giving it to a you know a seller right. agent. I'm still going to have to pay the buyer agent or whatever, but I'm still saving a big chunk of money just being a real estate agent. That's that's cool. But yeah, to answer your question, it's it's the same thing. Um it's the same process, it's just different. It's just different things. Like investing is going to be different from being a realtor. Like with investing you can you you gonna buy your house? You are gonna get a different kind of loan, of course, and you are gonna right. have to put much more down on mm. the house, much more cash down on sure. the house than if you went through a bank. You can't go through a bank to invest in a property that's you know distressed, right. that looks bad. Yeah, because they gotta bad. do the uh, what's it called, the inspection yeah. and all the reports and, and stuff. And and most likely a property like this isn't going to pass inspection right. and it's not a bank isn't going to want to lend on a house that's not habitable right so um with investing you you're gonna have to get a different kind of loan you're gonna have to have that 20 percent to put down <laughs> you have to have all your ducks in a row um because I mean, there there's so much money that's gonna go into it, right. and honestly, the best thing that that I could have done is have good credit. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> like if I didn't have you good credit, the nail on the head. <laughs> I, I hope y'all heard that. <laughs> Get your credit straight. I don't care. look. I, didn't mean to cut your. I don't care how many <laughs> bottles you popping. I don't care how many Instagram pictures you take overseas on boats, yachts, what celebrities, all that. She said, <laughs> "Get your credit straight. Get it right, I'm, man." I'm telling you, this would have been impossible for if me you if you had, had bad, bad credit. credit. It's, it's over. Oh yeah. <laughs> but go ahead. I just had to go in that little small yeah. rant. But yeah, like I was saying, if I if I didn't have good credit. I wouldn't have been able to come up with the money for a down payment. Like, I'm broke. I'm regular, like everybody else out here. <laughs> I'm out here trying to make a dollar. I'm broke. Like I said, I bought my um, first property, like which is my personal home. I bought that and spent all my savings on my down payment. Like, I didn't have any money going into this. Credit did it for me. Like, right. I was able to get several lines of credit to put a down payment down on a loan. Like. It, that's just what helped me out. That's pretty awesome. Everybody don't make that. A lot of people don't make that sacrifice. Especially right. young people. Oh, yeah. They get a little bit of cash in their savings. And they go. They about to pick up their blow phone. It. Hey, y'all trying to go to Miami. <laughs> bike week. Y'all got to go to DR, Japan, Africa. Mm-mm. That ain't and, happening over here. Yeah, I, um, I learned that. I got my house, what, three years ago? So, 
I had just turned. I'm not gonna tell anybody my age. Yeah, had, like you. So old. three years. So three years ago, I was 24. You were you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For real? Yeah. You be lying. I'm 27 you and lying. a half. You like 30. I'm 20. 33, 34. Ooh, you're close. Um. See, I'm, I'm good 27 at 27 today. <laughs> but um, then I was telling my girl, I'm like, so I didn't really start traveling, like traveling, traveling, like going to Vegas and stuff like that until. Probably about two years ago. Right. Because from the age that I was up until a couple of years ago, I'm like, all right, got to make sure my credit straight. I got to pay right. these bills off. Oh, yeah. I got to pay out this credit card. I got to do this. I can't get, I can't go get no, I can't get the J's this time. Right. The ones that I want, I can't get them because I got to make sure. I got enough money for the right. for the due diligence fee right. and then the earnest money and all that stuff. Right. So a lot of people yeah, aren't willing to make those sacrifices. A lot of people want to look look like they got it, but they be broke. Mm-hmm. I rather don't get me started. Look, I rather have it in my bank account and look raggedy. Look, I've been looking raggedy for the last three Man, months. Stop. I promise you. You know how you I am. I got Fendi now. Shut up. <laughs> Casuals. <laughs> Look. We see what you're doing. <laughs> Terry, you know I have to keep my nails and I got to keep my toes and I got to stay on point. These last three, three months, I haven't gotten my nails done, my toes done, but like one or two times. Well, those are sacrifices you got to anyway. make. Put, nah, it's put like, gloves oh, yeah. on. You're right. I don't even care. Right. Like, I'd rather look raggedy. and. I am raggedy. Shut up. <laughs> Except when I got that drip on. Yeah. yeah they, can't, they can't do that about it. They can't do that about it. So, that's true, though. Oh like, a lot God. of people want to look like it instead of really live it. But they ain't that's really why I just it. live my little life. Yeah, that's, that's how you separate yourself. Yeah, I just I, I stay out the way, you know just what I'm saying? Stay out the way. Stay like... out the way. And then, uh, see, me, you know me. If I go out, you buying a, all man, the look, drinks. Well, I'm not doing you that. You buying all the drinks, y'all. <laughs> Lies. Listen, um, go out with Terry. W- when I go out, I could be a, I could be in a room or a club full of superstars, Drakes, uh, LeBrons, your, your favorite rappers, favorite rapper, Trey Song, whatever. When I step up in that mug with my outfit on, <laughs> I'm the star. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the I'm the best looking. <laughs> That's just how I live my life. Look, that's I ain't how got you're they, I ain't got the, I ain't got what they got in their bank account. But when I come through, I'm living my life. I don't care what nobody, what nobody else you doing. You be drunk anyway, so right. Shit. I don't care about what nobody else doing. Your you mind just saying? be on you. Yeah. <laughs> I tell my girl, put your put your fancy heels on. <laughs> Let's ride. So when we step up in there, they know we here. <laughs> I don't care about all that. But that's how you gotta do. You gotta live your life, do your thing. You know right. I mean? You're right. I'm realizing that. Don't worry about nobody with nobody else. What nobody else think. Yeah. You can't worry about, especially with social media. Social media. Social media. Man, I done seen over my years. I done seen a lot of lies. Oh yeah. Every day. Oh, I thought you was. I thought y'all was just. Oh, okay. Every day. All right. It's cool. You never know how flawed people are until like. You like you know you know them in real life, and then they post some social media stuff. You be like, oh, did that really happen? Like, yeah, you know what they I say? Don't think that happened? Why tell the truth when a lie is more entertaining? I guess, but why do you care That's that much? Well, a, lot of, yeah, a lot of people care. A lot of people want to be looked at as a certain way, and I think that takes that takes years off of people when they wanna they have to force the way that they want to be looked at. I'm like, you missing so much wisdom on, online. Oh, gosh. Because I'm telling them, it, them rough experiences kind of mold you. You kind of mm-hmm. like, so when you have younger cousins or siblings to come up, you be like, hey, I'm telling you, you better not do that. You better not go buy that car. <laughs> and be broke. you rather look good, but your bank account I, empty. Damn, if I have a $425 car payment, Listen. ain't no way. I can't even lie. My Just pay- for the culture. My car payment. I know. I saw you pull up in that Bugatti. <laughs> <laughs> you 
pulled over that Bugatti outside. No. Yeah, I saw you. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny because I had a kid. This kid, they, they saw my car and they asked their mama. They was like, Mom, is that a Bugatti? <laughs> like, my car don't look Pull up in that like Jag. That. We see that Jag you got. I do not have no Jag. It's cool, though, like. But yeah, um, I think it's cool to not care about what people think. Do your thing. Stay low key. Oh yeah. You know what I mean. Have fun when you want to have fun. Don't press. And the be issue. happy. Be yeah. positive. Be happy. Just have just that good energy flowing through your life. True and that. Not worry about what other people doing. Like that's that's key. That's key. Like. Honestly, like, I can't even lie, like, social media hasn't affected me throughout these years of having it. Like, it hasn't, like, caused depression or anything. But, of course, like, you look at other people, you're like, dang, they, they done made it so far. They so young. They this, they that. And, like, I literally had to, del- not delete my Instagram, but delete my Instagram app. And I got off Instagram for, like, a month. And then I came back, and y'all don't know how much of an impact that made really? on me because I came back not even like really paying attention to what was going on on Instagram. I would get on there like once a day and not even give a damn. Just be focusing on what I'm doing. And as long as you focus on yourself and nobody else, listen, you will go so far. Right. You will go so far. That's true. Like you can't get caught up in social media. I know I know females that if they post, and this is what's crazy, if I post a picture or something, I don't know how many likes I can get. Sometimes I might get seven. Sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I might get 45. Right. I don't really care. Right. And that's but I, I, mean, I know some females in the past, they would say, if I post a picture and I only get 500 likes in, a, in an hour, I delete it. I'm like, huh? Exactly. I'm like, 500 like, likes. First of all, I'm not getting Man, 500 I can't even, likes. I can't even and... get 40 likes. <laughs> <laughs> it's about 500. I can't even get 45. I can't get even get 40 likes. But don't, I mean, I don't care because, I mean, social media social media. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, Whatever. That's how, see how everything, how life all comes together. We're talking about real estate and then. Yes. Yeah. No, but social media, that's an important topic because it's, so like prevalent through just our just our age group and our generation like our culture our culture, our culture yeah we be cat we be cat we be doing Boy, some major cat <laughs> I love black folk <laughs> cause black folk we just show at <laughs> we gonna show at any chance we get we gonna show at oh, yeah. that's just how we are we gonna cut up we gonna cut yeah. a food. But yeah, it's it's important. It's important for everybody to know that social media isn't everything. It's nothing actually. Like, right. live your life by your own means. Focus on you and what you're doing. Screw everybody else. Do your thing. That's a great way to end the episode. Uh, yeah. But I will say, I I'll, I'll lead them with this. If you get a chance, read Forty Eight Laws of Power. Because that book talks about, and I think a lot of people do it and don't even know that they're doing it. It tells you to do certain things like, and I shouldn't even be giving y'all the game, but since I love <laughs> my audience, I'm going to give y'all the game. It says do certain things to stand out, whether it's false or not. So basically what they're saying is everything that you see isn't real. I can go I can go get a chain on on Amazon for ten dollars, be iced out. <laughs> Wrist iced out. I could get a chain, uh, watch, brains. I probably get all that iced out Cuban links. Oh, fifty dollars. <laughs> I'm talking about heavy chain. All that get it get it shipped over from China. And I bet you somebody. Oh, damn, homeboy, that damn. He doing this thing. He iced out on him. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flawed out, but what you see, you see me shining. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm like. I heard, uh, you know Ocho Cinco, right? Chad Ocho Cinco? Yeah. Chad Johnson. Mm-hmm. So people know him about Ocho Cinco. Johnson. Mm-hmm. He was saying in an interview, he said, 
even when I was playing in the NFL, he said my my jewelry was 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 fake. <laughs> Kubrick. Most that's what he said. He said my jewelry was fake. He was like, for what? He was like, they think I'm rich, so why buy the real one? When right. you put fakers on, they think it's real anyway. Exactly. So. Why even buy jewelry? It just, it attracts people. Why? Like, it like, attracts we, the wrong people. Right, we could go put our money, like, if we want people to think we got it, we could put our money together right now. Go down to the damn uh, Lamborghini uh, shop, I mean, uh, the rental car place, <laughs> and go rent a Lambo. <laughs> well, I want to do that. Night. I want to go rent a Lambo. Right. Or something like that. Skirt, skirt. I'm going to ask my girl if she want to do that. that so I'm nice. like, let's, I'm like let's, I'm going to tell her, let's go half on a Lambo. You get down in the seat so nobody see that you in the seat. And then we're going to see how much attention I get oh riding gosh. in a Lambo by myself with the roof off. Bye. Let the doors open like that by herself. Bye, Step Terry. out with the gator, with them, not gator, with them Stacey Adams on. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> the All right, y'all. <laughs> we're about to go get this Lambo. You got anything else, Miss Mish? No, I, I do want to say I appreciate you for having me. Like, it's really flattering that you wanted to have me here. Well, <laughs> be coming back soon, okay? Yeah. June, May, June. Well, right, everything pop off. Right, yeah. Right when we had a release, you got to come and, and release it okay. on my podcast. On your podcast, I'm gonna be you. here. All right, y'all. We about to go rent the Lambo. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> y'all take care, <laughs> and we out of here. Bye, y'all.